Hey there, I'm Jonathan Hurst, and today I'm going to show you my four minute plank sequence, which is part of my larger core training for climbing. In addition to planks, I also include things like windshield wipers and front levers, and a variety of wall exercises, but we'll save those for another video. The focus here is a simple plank position, which we'll make harder with some fun variations. If you are new to plank training, then you might find this routine to be quite difficult. You can pause and rest on your knees at any time, but your goal should be to stay on your toes for the full four minutes. Let's get started. Begin with a 30 second front plank. Keep your legs straight and in line with your torso. Be sure not to sag your abdomen or chest toward the ground. You want to engage your anterior core and shoulder muscles as if finishing a push up. Perhaps the best cue is to think about lengthening your spine and hollowing your chest slightly. Do not allow your scapula to retract or your back to arch. Next up is a 30 second side plank. You can hold this statically by maintaining a straight line from head to feet, or you can do 10 to 20 side hip raises and finish with a static hold until 30 seconds are up. We're coming up on one minute, and so now transition to a side plank on the other side. Again, you can hold a static position for 30 seconds, or do 10 to 20 side planks if you have the strength to maintain good form. It's important to maintain slow, steady breathing. With practice, you'll develop the control to take slow, deep belly breaths rather than shallow, ineffective chest breathing. Moving on, we'll do a minute of the difficult Superman plank, perhaps the most climbing specific plank exercise, as you must contract your core intensely to create tension between one arm and the opposite leg. Try to do five to 20 Supermans. Maintaining balance is difficult, so touch down with your free arm and leg as needed to maintain balance. After 30 seconds, do 5 to 20 supermans with the opposite arm and leg off the ground. Again, try to maintain slow, steady breathing, but admittedly, this exercise may require you to occasionally hold your breath to regain a stable, balanced position. Next up is a front plank with knee drive. Do five to 20 knee drives with your right leg, but do return to a stationary front plank if you're struggling or if your form is degrading. We're now passing the three minute mark and we're on to doing knee drive with the other leg. There's a good chance your core is fatiguing and you're fighting to continue on. Don't feel bad about stopping early. If your form is breaking down, that is, if your hips are sagging, your lower back is arching, your shoulder blades are retracting. Now we'll end as we began, with a 30 second front plank. Be sure that your legs are still straight and in line with your torso. Continue with slow, deep belly breaths and think about lengthening your spine and hollowing your chest slightly to maintain good form to the very end. So, how did it go for you? If you found it challenging, commit to doing this at least three days per week, and I guarantee that you'll improve quickly. However, if you found this routine to be easy, then do a second round of this sequence after just a five minute break. That, I promise you, will be tougher. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the Training for Climbing channel.